Hey my friends, I got some messages um, about the game Nier Automata. People ask me um, how is it possible to complete the game uh, in about 5 hours or less. And yeah, in today's video I want to show you how you be able to complete the game under 5 hours uh, instead of playing maybe 40 hours, 50 hours, it depends. It's a cool game, so you can uh, just play Legit, but uh, in this video I want to show you how it works with um, an easter egg code, like in-game cheat code. Uh, after this we have to um, grind some um, coins, some in-game coins and get some uh, achievements out of the way that will not unlock with the cheat code. And after we are done with the grind we go to a, to a shop and buy all the remaining achievements. So. This game is currently on Xbox Game Pass and also there's a Windows 10 stack so you can um, get um, 2K like 2000 uh, game score um, if you do this method so it works for both versions. Um, yeah so uh, first no, um, a big thanks to Enluna he told me uh, everything exactly he told me what to do make some screenshots, uh, write me a guide um, so I can recording or I can record this video so thanks to him and yeah let's just do it uh, we're going to our main menu we go to new game I already did it so I changed the settings to English so that's why so yeah I will overwrite this so just normal so just pick uh, what you want maybe just I uh, use double V so yes. So now the important step, yeah. Uh, difficulty select to easy because yeah, it's easy. <laughs> so yeah, now it's important that you uh, use auto control chips. So um, enable it. Press yes. Do wish the motion blow. It doesn't matter. You just say no. Yes, it's up to you what you pick there. So now. Before we start the game, uh, we go to settings, we go to game, and we go to partner NPC combat style, and we change it to aggressive. You see later on what uh, what it uh, what's the different. So and after this, it's saving, and we start the game. There's a little intro, like a tutorial or something. Um, the game. Uh, tell us like uh, something end. about the background, the story, and, and something like that. Trapped. So it just takes a bit. So what the, the auto control, the the chip stuff. Um, our so character, punishment. or in this now, it's um, our yeah, ship. He will um, fly by himself. He will uh, parry and attacks. He will attack enemies. And later on, if you play like as your main character, uh, she will do the same. So he or your friend uh, act, uh, like attack enemies and everything. So it's very important that this is activated. So, but you see it also on the top right corner. Um, it must say uh, on. So give me a second and you see it on screen what I mean. So you can activate or deactivate it with LT left trigger. So be sure it's activated. Yeah, after the first boss. We will input a cheat code, that's a, a little secret easter egg code or whatever, so someone found it. Um, people people know that, uh, but nobody did a video, that's why I want to uh, do it right now, so I will show you exactly what to do. So now you see on top right, auto chips on. Yeah, if I press LT it's off, so be sure it's on. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very important for, for the rest of the game, so it's always on. So here you can just uh, kill the enemies and uh, down. if you want. <laughs> but yeah, usually your uh, character does everything, you just go left and right, so they shoot and because auto chip is on, just avoid these red uh, red One beams, the laser beams here.
I heard from some people that the game uh, is usually, if you play it like normal, it's a pretty good game. So, um, if you if you want the achievements faster, then yeah, maybe do it. Do like this method, this easy quick method. But if you prefer to play the game normal, because yeah, my all my people, like my friends, they said it's a really good game. So, yeah, just play the game like normal. But yeah, this is just like a video too. To show you how you can complete the game much much faster. So Captain, I think. yeah, this takes a few minutes. This tutorial, but uh, we get to the first boss later on. So yeah, the good thing about this uh, quick method. So yeah, like I've said before, it's. You can do the game also on Windows 10 again, so it's exactly the same. Just at the end you have to do something different because on Xbox One version we have to uh, delete the saves, uh, the local save, to get some um, like the in-game money back because we have to grind something and then we have to buy the in-game achievements. Um, and yeah, so we have to delete uh, the local save later and get the save back from the cloud so we can buy different achievements. Yeah, it's. It's a cool feature, like, um, I, I don't know how many games has the same feature that you can, like, buy achievements from the game itself, like, in-game, like, from a shop. So, I don't know one achievement right now, uh, one game right now, so... <laughs> yeah. Later on, we grind and just grind some um, in-game money to buy the achievements later on. But, like I said before, a few achievements they don't unlock with the... Uh, cheat code and uh, they don't unlock they are not available in the shop to buy so we have to do them normally but they are like pretty easy like I said before my friend he did uh, a pretty good uh, little walkthrough he sent everything to me so our pictures and uh, he records some stuff and text walkthrough that's why I want to show you guys how to do it because yeah some people message me and ask me hey what's the deal with this and yeah so that's why. Almost done here. Alert. Heavy damage and your you can skip the cuts in here if you want. Alert. Large enemy group. So now we are in a, in a, in a uh, almost at the boss fight. So now you see that like that's the auto chip on. If I press LT now, you see my character NPC the robot do no damage. He will not shoot. Like um, if I press LT again. It will shoot the enemies. He will do everything. Like you see, I'm. I, you, you don't see what I do right now, but my character he does everything. I was not moving right now, and he was attacking. Now the same. I'm not moving my character. I'm not uh, my controller. Like I don't um, press something right now. You can just uh, let it uh, put your controller down. <laughs> it's a pretty cool feature. You can pick these things up if you want. So after this little uh, robot, uh, there's the first boss fight, the tutorial boss fight. And after we killed him, we uh, input like a, t a secret Easter egg cheat code, and we got a bunch of achievements, a bunch of achievements. Enemies and then destroyed. we continue with, uh, we unlock like a chapter select, so we can just go to every chapter we want. So yeah, uh, this is the first boss right now, so we just kill him. You can press X or uh, Y or later on you press um, LB for a skill attack from, from your uh, robot here. So right now we just kill these, uh, kill the boss here. He's parrying, you see that? My character is parrying, he's attacking everything by himself. So now we press LB. Now we kill him. Perfect. Uh. 
Better make sure he's actually dead next time. Can skip it again? That was dangerous, man. No, we are talking to him. Two B, right? My name's Can just step press A to skip it. I've got a All right. So, and now we are input the cheat code. So, <laughs> just go here. You see, like we was fighting the boss here. You go turn around and you walk between those two barrels or like the barrels section here. Just walk here. So we are facing against the wall, we're standing here. So now we uh, input the cheat code. Uh, we press few, like the select button, once. Then we hold the right trigger the whole time. So the whole time we hold the right trigger, RT. So hold RT now, and then press once on the D-pad. So we press once on the D-pad, up, down, up, right, Left, X, B, Y, A. And then you see the black screen. That's the little secret in-game Easter egg or whatever. Someone found it on Twitter or whatever. And um, I don't know how, but <laughs> yeah, he found it. So here you can choose nope, nothing at all. It doesn't matter, I think. And yeah, chapters like can now access it. From the title screen and access points. That's the save points. The debug menu uh, can be accessed by pressing RT and few. Activate the debug menu will disable all save functionality until you load any save data. Yeah, just press A here. So items obtained, heavy armor, and yeah, now you got like everything done. The whole game, and you got some, I think, 16 achievements. Yeah, very important. We saved the game here. So we override it. Override save slot, yes. Now we are back to the main menu and 16 achievements will pop instantly. So, press any button. Now the achievements will pop. So. I will continue later um, once all these achievements stop popping. So, back in one minute. So, after these 16 achievements pop for 270 uh, gamer score, we continue the game. We load our save. And now we're going to chapter select because since we in input the cheat code, we uh, have now all chapters available. So the first thing we're gonna do, uh, we go to chapter two. Chapter two, one, landing at the city ruins, and then two B, and yes, so we travel there. Because five achievements, they uh, these cannot be obtained via the secret shop and the cheat code, so we have to do them like normal. We spawn here. Now we go to um, to a camp and talk to some people there. And also we try to get the first quest. The achievements we need are first a rent. Fighting's not my thing. Leaving uh, for the new world for uh, Endroot and beautiful world. Endroot D and the mines that emerged. Endroot E and um, the credits segment. So five achievements we have to do by our own. But yeah, I will show you everything. So, jump down here with RT, the the right trigger. Uh, it's just some uh, in-game uh, tips here. With the right trigger, you can walk. So, or run faster, better. Now we are going to the little camp here. To get the f uh, talk to the guys and get the first quest. Also, we will complete the first quest, and then we will start the first grind segment to get some uh, cores, and we will sell the cores later to get some in-game money. So we have to do this around 15 times, but I will explain you everything later. So now we are in the first camp here. 
You know, can skip everything. It's not needed here to watch something if you don't want. Up to you, but... So, so now it's the camp here, the first time we are here. Talk to their leader first thing. Talking first to, uh... Your to her? Number two. Hmm? You? Um, my name is Anemone. I'm the leader of the... You must be the new... Well, I'm please, feel free. So, now we are talking... To this woman here. Say I am good. So after this, we are talking to him. That's the weapon trader. That's our first quest giver. So we talk to him with B. <laughs> Not A. <laughs> so he will give us the first quest. We pick up these uh, with B and pick it up and. And then you say, help him out. So we wanna help him out. He will give us the first quest. And we do his quest. So now we got the first challenge. Quest. You see on the minimap where you have to go to press uh, start. and You see on the minimap, you see that, so... It says here, so we have to go back. This must have been quite a city once upon a time. Too bad vegetations claim most of it now. The quest is every time at the same uh, point, so... You see, my, uh, my guy is really aggressive, so... He shoots uh, every enemy here. <laughs> this is 2B. Nothing now we are going between those here. trees here, hey, and now we have to pick up four uh, items. Good, it's fine. Does that question have anything to do with our operation? Not really. I just figured That's it the first might one. Nice to have some good weather. Feeling nice has no bearing on completing. The second missions. one. <laughs> we have to search here in this uh, red area. Anyway, talk to you later. Third one, just one left, and I think it's here. Perfect, now we got that four of them, enough. now we go back to him, get these back to the trader. and get off next or first achievement like what we do normal. Talk to him. Achievement should pop right now for finishing the first quest. So we talk to him again, and now we got the quest reward, and also the next, nah, here you can say uh, not this time. Yes. So now it says, we the weapon stealer request complete, so that's the next achievement. Now we go here, this is like the access points, these are the, the safe points here. So we go here, he says slime, yeah. That's the access point you can uh, save here. And uh, that's what we're going to do. We save here. Then from here we go to chapter select. And we go to uh, chapter 4, tank boss, and 2B. Yes.
Okay, so from here we're gonna walk up the stairs here. We're gonna fight a tank boss. We have to defeat him around 15 times. So he, he will drop an item uh, that we have to pick up and we will sell it later at a shop. So now we are fighting him. You can press Y and also don't forget to press LB. But you see on the top left our level is now level 3. Each time we will uh, kill him or defeat him, we level up a bit more. So next time you will defeat him a bit faster. Like every time you defeat him, you level up more and it's like easier to, to kill him. It's still easy, yeah, but uh, next time with level 10 or 20 or 30, you defeat him much, much faster. Now we are only level 3, so it takes a bit more. We can press LB, so of our little robot here, we'll do a good amount of damage to the boss. So he's almost dead, he's dead, perfect. Now he will drop an item, and that's what we need. That's the, 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 the only reason we are here is because we need this item here. So we, we, we uh, pick it up with B. Later, I just show you uh, how many you have later on. So you press RB, you go to items and materials. So you see the machine core. Here you can track how many you have. So later on, or we need to do this 15 times, around 15 times. And but before we like um, go back or something, we have to first like save the game and then go back to chapter select and do it again all over. So climb up here. So we climb here on and the house here. Up the stairs to the right. You can drop down. So from here, we're going to this exit points here to save our game. We press B here. So quick save. Yes, wait till the saving disappears on top right. And then we do the same again. We go to chapter select. We go to chapter 4. Tank boss. 2B. Yes. So that's the first grinding segment. So we will do this around 15 times. And... Yeah. Once you have 15 times, we're going to the next one. So, yeah. So, that's the last time we have to defeat the tank boss. Just show you again. So, play, 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 let's play, let's sing. <laughs> so, yeah, kill the fucking boss again. <laughs> okay, that's the last time we need to kill him. I'm now at 14, so one more to get 15. Machine course. Be sure your uh, LT is on, like your auto chips. What's this? Some kind of crystal? Analysis. Uh, pick it up. Now you can check again how many you have. You do items again. Materials, now you see Machine Core 15, perfect. And now we save the game again and we travel to, the, um, to someone and we sell the items to him and gain um, in-game money. It's called G in this game, so you get G back to sell something. So here press b again save the game quick save and now we are going to go to the uh, shopkeeper so we're going to chapter select we go to 14 14 3 pascal needs help and it's only a2 available yes we travel there We also get an achievement later. 
there's one for us getting hundred thousand uh, right. in-game money yeah, and if we sell all the items down. now we get a lot of um, money we need three hundred fifty thousand so oh, yeah. so we have to wait till this conversation is over so we can talk to the shop Pascal Pascal are you there what the hell she's not available right now so we have to wait a bit so let's stop talking and we can uh, press B here Unit A2 Just, should investigate yeah. Pascal's village immediately. I'm Wait here a bit. Way. No. Talk to him with B. Need anything? Yes, we need anything. So, we don't want to buy something. We don't want to upgrade. We want to sell something. So, we want to sell this 15 machine cores that we uh, farmed from the tank boss. So, go to machine core 15, press A, and now go all the way up to 15. Yes. Perfect. So we got the achievement for uh, getting 100,000 G. Press B, we quit out here. Now, saving the game. Go here to the access point save machine here again. Press B, uh, quick save. And now we travel to a uh, different chapter again. We travel to 7 2. Lost child, 7, 2, as 2B, yes. Okay, once you spawn here, you see uh, you turn around and you're going to talk with this girl here. So we go to her, press B. And yeah, can I help you with anything? Yeah, we want to shop, we, we want to buy something. We have to upgrade our storage cap, um, cap capacity. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so I go to shop here, and we go to buy. Now we go here to the storage, and buying all these storage items here, all of them. Capacity. So, perfect, but, um, we bought all of them, go back with B, now we go uh, again to save our game. Quick save. After we save the game, uh, we press B to get uh, out of the access point here. And now we're going to Emil. That's a, <laughs> it's a secret shop. Um, we have to buy something from him. And uh, we also get an achievement uh, for buying something the first time. So now you can press LT, uh, auto chips off to, to go faster because we don't, uh, there's no, we don't have to kill the enemies here. So we just avoid them from now. So we are faster. Just follow the way my route here. Be here. The There's an uh, important step later at Emil, so, but I will explain it to you once we are there. Ah, you see Emil around, uh, in the background you see him driving around, it's the car. So, but before we talk to him and buy something, we have to kill these enemies here. So I press LT again, now we killed him. See, I'm at level 12 right now, so... Just kill him here. Now, Emil is here. 
Now it's very important. You have to do exactly the same what I do. It's very important. Okay, now you press B. But it's very important that you don't uh, quit or get out of the store because this guy Emil will only sell the item once. So if you do by mistake, you press B. You have to reload. Uh, you have to quit the game and um, reload your safe and go to this point again. Kill these two enemies again and talk to him again. So he, because there's uh, some special items we need from him and yeah, they are rare and he only sell it once. So that's why. Don't close this uh, shop here. So we're talking to him again. And yes, we want to buy something. So go to buy. And now we're buying, uh, scroll down to max uh, HP. So press A. And now we say we want to buy it three times. Confirm. Yes. Then we scroll down a bit. Then we will buy auto heal. One time, yes, and then scroll down again to XP gain up. So this time three again, three, yes. Now you, you are safe to press B to go out. We also get an achievement for uh, talking or like buy something the first time from him. So now we bought these items we need, we uh, press start, we go to skills with RB on skills, we uh, go down to plug in chips, we set type A, customize and then we go to all chips, from there we scroll down. So, it's very important that you, uh, we will need to in plug. that's why we, we bought uh, the storage um, before, so we can input more of these chips in our like build. That's why we, we bought the f uh, before um, these, uh, the storage cap capacity, so that's the only reason, so we can input here more of these chips skills. So, we need the auto heal. So uh, press A on a auto heal, put it here, just don't go up or down now. right now, just press A, A again. So it's in there and now the max um, HP we do we need later. Now we go here to uh, the XP, uh, build it here, same uh, with the second one and the third one. So. Now, if you do it mistake, you can go back and set type B or C. So if you do something wrong, for example. But uh, it's not a big deal. For example, if you did something wrong, you can, yeah, like I said, go to type B or type C and equip them later. Or just reload your save again. But um, yeah, if you follow this, uh, it's not a big deal. So and then uh, we press B again. For example, you still messed up the first time setting or building this build, the skills. I will show you how to uh, how to fix it. So go again to plug in chips. Uh, go into set type A again, customize again, equip the chips. And for example, if you messed up here on uh, one of them, for example, you didn't choose XP, uh, you cho you choose the um, uh, max HP for example what we need later in the game so we have to change them uh, again so you can remove them yeah so and then you go to all chips again and replace them with the one uh, you needed so we need um, uh, the uh, all chips we go and then we need uh, XP gain this one here so we need it again and build it back in and that's all.
so far it's just for example you messed up you can build your own uh, deck every time later like i said we um we need uh we have to change all three of them to the max hp for killing the boss later on go out of the menu here perfect so now we're gonna save the game and we will go to a farming location to level up our character that's why we bought the uh, gain xp so we get we get more xp if we uh, doing now the next steps so now here's another save point Leave me alone, jackass. I have to wait here a bit till it's uh, till I finish I here think, talking and now we go here to the save point again press B again and we quick save the game from here we go again to chapter select now we choose chapter 3 4 2B and that's where we're going to grind our level so we need uh, like um, level 35 around something like that the you, more level is better because uh, you will fight the boss faster so I recommend getting at least like level 30 35 something like that so it's later on uh, easier but um, this a whole process can be idle later so we start here Never seen a machine like that so before. we have to go we back to later it. we have to go here to fight some enemies but it's not possible right now so we have to backtrack a bit to the camp that we was before and a little conversation then we have to go here again and then we fight a, like um, there's a, a boss and uh, some little enemies around and they will spawn infinite so with auto chip on LT on you can just idle the game for it takes one and a half hours but um, you can watch something on TV or like do some homework or whatever you want so just uh, go sometimes uh, check check the TV again and see if everything works and yeah you can still die sometimes or if you die it's not a big deal um, you see your corpse like a blue icon on the map and you have to Find your corpse okay, again. You know where it is be because you know where it died. Here. So and then you have to interact again to get uh, your uh, items bunker. back and you everything. You level back. And... Your nine Go ahead. But um, usually you, you don't die, the, but uh, it's possible to die. It's not a big deal. Just get your uh, corpse back and you are at the same level again as, as before you died. So ready to receive. Hopefully you can get something out of it. Now auto chip is off, but later on we activate it again. So we go up here and then we go back to this point where we just was and we just walk a bit here. Then it's a little conversation. Yes. I think we now you have to here. accept something, so don't easy. skip everything, just wait a bit. Till you move. can um, I'm worried about the damage make two decisions. Last battle with the machines. Maybe we should return to the resistance camp. So we now you choose continue meetings. fighting. So we choose continue fighting. No, we should keep fighting. Roger that. Just try not to overdo it, okay? Now we are going back Operator to where we uh, spawned at the completed. beginning. Roger. I also have an now this area is possible to uh, to reach, playback. and we will fight uh, the robots, the big Nine robots, and we get XP. That's why we we put in our build uh, three um, pieces of gain XP, so we get more XP if we kill enemies. That's the only reason. So we level up now to get level 30, 35. I recommend 35. The more, the better. So it's not a big deal because you don't have to play the game. So from the five hours for the completion, you only play around like three hours, two hours is idling and you know, so. Sometimes you have to go to the enemies and um, walk to them again. Maybe you are too far away. But yeah, yeah you can watch something on, on PC or 
do some other stuff. And uh, <laughs> the CPU is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good feature, so auto play, auto chips. <laughs> okay, now we are back in the cave. Now it's possible to get access here. And now this is the section here where we have to kill the enemies here. If you want, you can, if you want to be sure, before going up here, I just explained this to you, you can go like after like 30 minutes, you can go back to the save point and save your game again. If you are scared you're dying or something, you can auto uh, make auto chips off, go, go the way here around and go back to the beginning to save your game. At the camp there was a access point where we just talked make the decision if you continue fighting so if you want you can go back there after 30 minutes 45 minutes or yeah whatever and now it's very important that you press LT so it's on otherwise yeah you don't you can cannot idle it just go here to the middle and now we'll activate LT and yeah game will play by himself, he will parry, he will attack, everything. He will heal. Um, that's, yeah, you just have to wait here. Maybe walk to the enemies again, but they will respawn infinite, so, yeah. And that's all. We just do this now for one and a half hours, and until we are level 35 or something, and then we continue again. So, yeah. So, after one and a half hours and eating some nice pizza, <laughs> uh, well, see that, uh, level 35 without doing something. So, um, I did this now on uh, three times already and I never died once, so the controller or like just the, the character will do everything um, for you. It's, it's like auto play, so you don't have to do something. If you still die, like for, for example, if you still die, but I don't think, but maybe you die. Um, yeah, go back to your uh, corpse. It's a blue marker on the map and they get your items back. Yeah, so we are ready to uh, fight the boss. So get some endings and get the remaining achievements. There's one little thing later on where we have to be uh, really careful. Otherwise the whole uh, save from the game will delete it. So. But yeah, okay now um, we're leaving this area here, so press LT to go off this battle mode and we are going to this cave here again to leave the section here. So level 35 is more than enough, so you don't need uh, more, it's just like if we fight the boss it's a bit faster and yeah. So from here we go back to the camp, uh, camp again. So it takes about one and a half hours if you idle this, so just, uh, just be sure that your XP gain containers are uh, better, like three of them are in your build segment, so, but we did it before, if nothing, if you did not change it, it's uh, still activated everything. Now we get some endings and after the endings we will buy the remaining achievements in the shop. So from here you can save the game once if you want. Just quick save. And now we have to press start again because since we don't need the XP container anymore we change it to, uh, to get more uh, HP, to make, get more health. So go to skills go to uh, plug-in ships again, um, set type A, 
and then customize, equip the chips, and now we scroll down to the XP gain. So, uh, so we remove all three of them. Remove, yes, 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 and now press B once and then go to all chips and then we install the max HP so to get more health. Yes, this one and this one. So, and yeah, if you want, you can go check it again. But you see it on the right, you see the HP level uh, goes now up to four and a half thousand always, 4.4 thousand HP, and before it was 2.7. So we have more health, it's better for the boss fight. Uh, but the game will will play for us, so we don't have to do something again. <laughs> Thanks to autoplay. So, <laughs> yeah, pretty good feature in this game, huh? <laughs> so, okay, uh, check it again. Max HP is like set up, everything perfect. Okay, press B, B, go out of this menu, uh, or press start. So now we uh, save again, quick save, yes. And now we go to chapter select. And we go to 17 to the last one, and then to the last one again 9. 17, 9. So, next question mark, yes. Yes. So, this is the last fight in the game. This tower is a giant cannon that's aimed at the human server on the moon. If we don't do something, now we have to we have to do this two times. So, first time we pick nine S, um, and later we pick a two. But first we pick nine S. But there's now a decision what we have to do. In a few seconds. That moon server you're so worried about was invented to give us androids something to fight for. And so you can choose between them which the one wash. you want to fight. Make sure no one they built the Isn't you can skip now with B, hold B, if you want. So now it's a little cutscene, you can skip it again with hold B. Now, please make your choice. So if you press up once, you are at 9S, so we choose 9S first. Press A, confirm. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Understood. Okay. After this, we pause the game quick. I want to tell you something before we fight. So. Now it's important that you are there. It's not important, but there's a miscellaneous achievement we can get out of the way quick. So. Once you are in the fight with your auto chips uh, off, so you have to control by yourself without auto play, you have to hold the Y button and there's a mini game. So we have to beat the mini game once to get uh, an achievement for it. That's all. So uh, now I press B once again and uh, I'm sure I'm auto play off. So you see it's off. Now I hold our uh, Y button. Usually there's a mini game now. Now it works. Now it's a mini game, and then I press LT again. All the chip on. And now you just have to defeat uh, this uh, section here. So this little core or something. And now once you are back here, press LT again. So uh, it's already equipped, uh, already on, because we just uh, enabled it in the mini game. So if you don't get it first time, it's not a big deal. You can get it uh, uh, another time. Just be sure auto chip is off. Hold Y, the yellow button. Hold it Y, and for about three seconds, and then um, the mini game um, pop up, and you just destroy this uh, little core. Uh, you can you can do it manually. You can shoot with RB, but yeah, why? The if you just press LT once again, so all the chip is on, uh, the game will shoot the enemies for you. And now, you just wait here, uh, so your character will do all the work for you. 
we will kill the boss and there's an, another decision what we have to do later and um, get some other endings and after the second ending there's a, a really important decision what we have to do so I will skip through here now and be back later once this is over. Okay, now we are back. Almost done. If you missed the mini game, you can do it uh, later on again. Just do the same again. You will uh, also you can fight her, uh, your, or I mean you can uh, do the mini game two or three times in the battle to to uh, damage the boss more. So it's a bit faster. Now it just takes maybe four or five minutes. So you save maybe one or two minutes if you do the mini game by yourself. So um, we defeat her. We hold B to skip. Also, you can skip here. Hold B again. We got the first ending now. Can skip here. Just hold B. Like the credits. Here you can say uh, after holding B, you can say I'll stay. Then press B again. Skip it. Here. as an achievement so we got the ending press B again to skip it now we're gonna choose yes we want to save the game of course we want to save it don't press no here so we want to save it so you can choose the second option if you want we don't need the first one so I prefer the second one because uh, maybe it's better for you to understand so just use this save here the second one you can override the first one but it's just better don't be uh, the time four and a half hours I press pause the game a lot so we can we 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 can complete the game in under like four hours if you know what to do so because yeah the idle idling is which we, we just have to play maybe two hours two and a half hours by ourselves and the rest yeah the game will play for us so yeah now we continue with the another ending and uh, we have to be really careful not mess up there so okay now we continue I got the other ending so we go to this safe slot here we just saved here second one yes we load it and then we go to chapter select again again 17 nine you see now we got the here the final m uh, moments from the game like the endings but we go again to 17 9 this time we choose later the a2 but at the end after the fight is where we have to be really careful so maybe uh, watch watch it later a bit more like watch the video first a bit before you mess up there Otherwise, yeah, your whole save is gone, and <laughs> you have to replay the whole game again till this part. So this tower is if we don't. I recommend watch it or read it. I will um, link maybe some guides from two achievements in, or uh, some text from other uh, sites. Uh, how to get the ending? So maybe easier for you. So now. We choose the bottom option, we choose A2 instead of 9S because we did already 9S, so we do A2, confirm it, yes, we are sure, understood, press B and then, yeah, just the same, but this time we don't have to play a minigame. Uh, this autoplay, sometimes the character will do one, 
but you, you don't have to move your character, just like wait till the fight is over. That's why we leveled up a bit more. You can do this with level maybe 32 or 30, but it takes longer and it's just like if I want, like if I record a video for, for the community, um, it's just safer, you know, like you will, uh, you don't die and you will beat the boss without like any issues and that's that's why we level up to 35 so we are 100% 100 sure we we beat the boss and everything works smoothly smooth yeah so okay same here um i'm back once this is over or almost over okay uh, i'm back we killed her <laughs> so now it's important no, it's very important that we have to be careful now what we are doing. So this is just a, like a little mini uh, mini game. So you can't fall down here. There's a, a barrier, We're so logic you can't fall down. And even if you die, it's not a big. It's you just respawn at the beginning. Uh, nothing will happen. Tell me where so to find the virus corrupting just the rush here uh, through the exit. It's uh, top on the stairs. After this is the important part. I think I know a way. The idea under consideration is not recommended. This pod is a Yorhat tactical support unit. As such, it cannot approve of actions that would damage its supported unit. <laughs> You're not so bad, huh? Jump here. You know that? One time. Thank God you cannot fall down here because. <laughs> Otherwise, it's maybe a bit tricky. <laughs> Not tricky, but yeah, you have to slow, slowly walk there, and <laughs> but yeah, you can't fall down, fall down here. So it's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Skip here, old B. So now we are waiting for a little dialogue. Report. All your unit black boxes for the plot. Offline. Our mission to oversee the progress of Project Yorha is complete. Proceeding to final stage of project. Commencing deletion of all data. So now we have to put our choose yes. No, choose yes. Press A. Pod 042 to pod 153. Data confirmed. Personal data for units 9S, 2B, and A2 appear to be leaking out. Pod 153 to pod 042. Follow project rules and delete all personal data. Pod 042 to pod 153. Personal data deletion request denied. Pod 153 to pod 042. Failure to parse statement. Pod 042 to pod 153. There was data created in my banks as I was referencing the records. I realize something. I have come to the conclusion that I cannot accept this resolution. The destruction of all Yorha units is an essential component of the project plan. All data must be destroyed. Pod 042 to pod 153. Repeat. Personal data deletion request denied. Initiating data salvage. Pod 153. You hoped they would survive as well, didn't you? 
We lack the authority for such an action. The rules are protected by low-level systems. Salvaging data poses an unacceptable level of risk. Knowing that, do you still wish for them to survive? Now we say yes again to get the ending and also we are going to the mini game. So yes again, two times yes. The E and through the E and now we are in the credits segment. So I pause the game now. Um, you like you are controlling this uh, little ship. You shoot with RB. So you can do it by your own, but it's really hard to beat this um, section or this this mini game or whatever or this credits mini game. So yeah, uh, there's a uh, little uh, in-game helper, but it only works if you are connected to Xbox Live. So. It doesn't work if you are offline for some reason. I don't know what you are doing. But yeah, this only works when you are offline to connect it to Xbox Live server. So if you kill yourself, uh, sometimes there's an, um, the game will ask you something and offer some help. And if you choose yes, you have not only one ship, you have six, seven ships. So it's really easy to beat the section. Otherwise, it's hard. But if you say, for example, if you say... Uh, the game asks you you want to delete your save and you say yes for example you do a mistake all your save is gone so be really careful what you are doing right now so um, maybe just watch it first before you play the game or continue playing so yeah just watch it first uh, see what I do uh, or like read something in the, in the description before I continue here so it's really really important Otherwise, yeah, your safe is gone and you have to do everything again till this point. Okay, I unpause the game and then the you can shoot with RB, but like I said, I will kill myself now. You can kill myself again. We were created to execute the Android's Project Yorha plan. So and now it asks me, for example, give up there. No, we don't give up because we want to get the ending, we want to get the achievement, so <laughs> we're not giving up, never, so <laughs> choose no. Maybe it's different for you, but um, just say, uh, yeah, read, read it before, if something, if something says without, I uh, say, uh, yeah, like this, do you accept the defeat? No. Or it says something, or it asks something like uh, delete your save. No, 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 you don't want to delete the save. But I just let you know so you can delete. It's possible that uh, your save is gone. That's why I, I just say it a bit maybe too, uh, yeah, a bit yeah, important or something. Is all pointless? No. Just wait here. It takes maybe seven, seven, eight tries. 7 8 death till we get the right prompt what we need to get help and yeah this is the yeah it's a cool section here like overall uh, it's a cool idea so i like uh easter eggs um do you think games are silly little things no so basically we just uh kill ourselves till we got uh, something like uh, exact offer from uh, like maybe uh, sometimes it's a ex like it's, it's a Xbox Live friend. You will see it. So that's why you're um, uh, you ha you have to be connected to Xbox Live servers. That's why. That's the only reason you get the. So now it says, yeah, that's one of my friends. I I don't know him, but <laughs> rescue offer received from Sunny360. So we press A. <laughs> And rescue offer, and now we say yes. You, you like basically, you just have to kill yourself till you see um, like rescue offer uh, one of your friends and accept offer. Say yes. That's basically all you have to do. Every, everything else, just say uh, no because you, we don't want to delete our save. So it's not, it's not that you. The game will still ask you, are you sure? Yes or no? So yeah, but basically, just kill yourself at the section. Wait till you got a prompt like this so 
like one of your friends, or like a, a, a name here, and just say yes now. We want the help, and now we are like <laughs> really, really strong now. And yeah, even if you get hit, it takes a few. Uh, you have three seconds, so your ship comes back in three seconds. So, so for example, I will hit myself right now one time. Now just a shoot with RB, and yeah, beat the beat the, the credits. So this takes five minutes. So I will skip maybe here, and after the after it's done, I'm, I'm back because yeah, I don't want to show everything right now. But yeah, it takes five minutes, so don't be scared uh, if, you, if you think maybe what's what's going on here. It just takes a bit. So as you see. You can um, shoot the orange bullets, but you can't shoot the red bullets. But yeah, just uh, kill or <laughs> shoot all the names. So kill the credits. <laughs> yeah, this takes five minutes. So I first thought I don't know if everything works the first time I played it, but yeah, <laughs> just takes a bit. Almost done right now. So after this we get an achievement uh, and that's basically the last one we needed because everything else we can buy from the in-game shop with the money, we can buy uh, the rest of the achievements easily and yeah, we just have to um, delete our local save once we run out of money and um, yeah, start the game up again so our save will sync with Xbox Live again so we got the whole save back and yeah go for the next achievement so we buy the next achievement that's basically the whole game so we are almost finished Everything with the game is designed to end. so you, here you can uh, skip trapped. hold hold b so achievement unlocked that's for the ending Do you, faithful player, have you and that's for uh, the segment Uh, here you can say uh, nope, nothing at all. We don't have to say something. We love the game, so. <laughs> Understood. Returning to title screen. Perfect. Now, that every that's everything. Now we go for the rest of the achievement from the from the shop. We buy them from the shop. So we save here again. Yes. On the save again, we go to this one again. Override it. Yes. Hey, so I'm back. Yeah, we are almost finished with the game. So, just have to buy the achievements and uh, something. So, we go to continue again. So, we load our ending save. Yeah. Load the ending save where, it's, where it says CDE. So, we load the save. Yes, we want to load it. Now we go to chapter select and we go to chapter 14 again. Pascal needs help. We watched there before one time. So we travel there. And now we are going to buy the achievements from, from the shop. Also we uh, copy and save our um, our save to slot A, B or C and yeah, just use it again. So we don't have to delete any save Thanks. file from Xbox or something. We, um, we figure this out after I recording till this point. So the first idea or the first time we just deleted our save every time, but it's way easier what we're doing, our, uh, what we're doing right now. So it's much, much easier. So you have to wait a bit till uh, till you can interact with the girl here. So you start here again. That's the uh, safe point. And from this girl here, from the little girl on the on the on the, on the uh, we're sitting here, you can buy the achievements, the remaining achievements, what you need. So we have we have everything. Um, we just buy the last achievements. So from her, press start again and check how many um, how much money you have. So you see on the right status founds 
G. So you, there's one achievement that, that costs 200,000 points. So if you don't have 200,000 points at this point, you can sell some items here. We, we don't need anything anymore, so you can sell whatever you want till you have 200,000 or you grind this tank boss again at chapter 4, 4-2 four I think was it. So um, yeah, but you, if you follow this you have 200,000. If not, just sell something here till you have 200,000 points. And then, it's important, we press start again, we go to system, we go to save, and now this is the save we just loaded, so we going now to override the, the first one, or like for example this one, save slot 1, yes we override it, also we save here again, and we save here again. So that means we have 200,000 points available to buy achievements. We don't have to delete any save file from Xbox or something. We just load, for example, save slot 2. Yeah. And then we buy the achievements and load the other save back and save it again on the slot. So, so now we saved on the third time, the last time, but now we save again at the first one. So it will override the first one, what we are doing right now. So save at the first one again. And now we are talking to this girl here. You can skip here, B. And now choose request unlocking you know what. So press A here. And now you see, <laughs> that's a secret shop. You see all this, the achievements is the remaining achievements we need. So and there's one achievement for 200, yeah? So let's just buy this first. Confirm. Yes. Now achievement popping. And now, if you press A, you see your money is gone. So, yeah, that's why... My first idea was to get the save back from the cloud, but yeah, it's much easier this way. So thank God we figured out and yeah, much, much better. So now the save uh, was saving here on this save file because this was the last one we saved our game. So this is the save file right now where we have zero money. We just bought it because every time you save, you know, the game will pick up the save and overrides the save. So now we are going to choose um, we load save slot 2 again and that's what we're doing the whole time right now we we loading save 2 instantly we, we save the game or override the first save 1 again and by the achievements load back to save slot 2 save again to 1 by achievements and that's the whole thing what we're gonna do right now till we have everything so I just show you one time so before doing anything here, press start again, check your money, we have 200,000 again, perfect. Now, we're gonna save the game. We was at, at save slot 2 right now, we loaded 2, now save it again to 1. The save slot 3 is just in case you messed up. So if you messed up something, you can just load the third one and save it to a 2 or 1, or both of them. So we saved again to 1. Now we are talking again to the girl here. We pick up again this one. Request unlocking, you know what? And now you see the 200 is away. Yeah? Because we, we bought it already. So you don't have to write something down. Just buy each of them. Rest out here. Achievements are popping. Press start again. Go to system. We're going to load. We're going to load say slot 2 again.
This works for both versions, Xbox One, Windows 10. So again, press start. Once you loaded the save slot 2, press start. Go again to system, save the game, save it to 1. So the game will now use save slot 1 again. Go out here, we have the money back. Go, go to this girl. Now we buy again achievements. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Buying achievement sounds pretty good. <laughs> okay. It's the last time we have to do it, so go again to the girl here, skip it. Now just need two achievements left, <laughs> buy it. Yeah, and that's basically everything. There's one achievement for getting all achievements, zero gamer score. It will pop on screen too. So. You got everything. Awesome. So the whole game is done now. We got every achievement in the game in about, let's say, four hours, four hours or less if you follow this guide. So I really hope you um, understand everything and everything worked for you. I try my best to explain everything uh, as best I can. Um, it's still sometimes hard for me to find the right words because English is not my na native language. So, and yeah, I'm like people know I'm from Germany. So I still hope you understand what I want to say. And yeah, that's basically everything for the game. And enjoy your game score hunt here. Um, yeah, like I said, the game is also available on Windows 10, so you can do both games at the same time. Because you know there's this uh, farming method for uh, if you if you level up to level 30 or 35, so you can do both at the same times. Um, yeah, so you don't have to play the whole time. You know that. So from the four hours we did this now, we played maybe only two and a half or two hours. So yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty easy game of score here right now. The only tricky part is the end a bit, but if you follow this and do you know that you um, don't pick, for example, uh, delete your save or something, you know, at the at the last steps, at the credit segment, so you're, you're good to go. So that's a cool game. And yeah, hope you you like this video. And yeah, if something, if uh, read something, if, if something goes wrong, just uh, message me or uh, say something in the comments. And yeah, I try to help you. That's all. Bye.